Hey everyone, it's Christina Campbell and I making these videos of gluten-free and dairy-free snacks I find. I can't have either, so I know it can be difficult and when you do find something, it doesn't always necessarily taste good because a lot of things, you're trying to make them similar to what what a normal a normal like cupcake or chip or whatever would taste like with taking away the gluten and the dairy. So sometimes you taste something and you're like, that's not what you want. So I've come across a few snacks, but today we are going to be reviewing um, these gluten-free, dairy-free, casein-free, and egg-free Snyder's pretzels. And they're the honey mustard and onion. And growing up, um, the honey mustard and onion um, regular Snyder's where they're like the little bits and they would be like all these chopped up little chunks and coated in this yellow deliciousness. And they were just so yummy. And um, they were one of my favorite snacks. I didn't have them that often, but if someone brought them, I definitely ate a couple. But obviously being gluten-free and dairy-free, you can't just go out and get pretzels. You have to be very specific and make sure the ingredients and everything that they are up to you, what you can eat. So let's give them a try. These are the pretzel sticks. So let's try it. Okay, they look like this. So they are a stick, and I don't know if you can see. You do see a little bit of the yellow coated across it. Obviously, it's not nearly as coated as the normal chunks are, but let's give it a try. Okay, that outer coating definitely tastes probably exactly like the normal seasoning on the regular ones. However, because it was a stick, it wasn't nearly as coated and flavorful and tangy as those are, the regular ones. But overall, very good. Let's see, the serving size is 30 sticks. Wow, that's not bad. Um, and yeah, they are, I will say too, they are more of a crunchier texture, but has to. I never expect texture to be quite the same when it comes to gluten-free products, just because usually, like, let's see, cornstarch, potato starch, tapioca starch. Yeah, because with, um, as in most cases, it's a mixture of flours and things. So overall good. If I was to rate it, I'd give it, I'd give it a four. They are very good. Um, I could see me buying them on occasion. I think this one, let's see. I got it at Food Lion. Our, my Food Lion actually has a nice little um, organic section set aside, and a lot of their in the organic section they have a lot of the gluten free, dairy free products. So you have one section of the store that you can just go to and find what you might be looking for. Let's see. They were three thirty nine, and this today I actually got a coupon on the little scanner at Food Lion, and it was fifty five cents off. So I got them for right under $3, which isn't too bad. Um, but yeah, they were good. They made a nice little snack, and I really enjoyed them. All right. Bye.